right turns. When it comes to making right turns, just like any other maneuver, you must be aware of your surroundings. You have to know that you have enough room and enough space basically to make the turn successfully without causing damage to anyone or anything. So a lot of times you have objects like a pole, fire hydrant, car, person, something, something stationary. Let's say that on the right hand side, you're going to make a right turn. Here's your space. A mistake that a lot of people do is this. They will start turning and they will turn short and they realize if they realize by looking in the mirror that they turn too short and the trailer is going to hit whatever this object is. All right. Then they'll try to straighten up and go up, but they won't. That was that would not work. All right. So now what are you going to do in this situation? All right. You have to answer that question because you have to make the decisions like this decision that you just made. Don't do that to yourselves. All right. You can't just back up in traffic because you best believe someone is behind you and probably really, really close. All right. So that's not that won't work. So then another mistake people make is they expect for the vehicle here to back up for them. They realize, wow, I'm so close over here. And then they try to turn. But. Now you have nowhere to go. You can't just back up in traffic. Like I just said, someone is most likely behind you. Plus that's illegal backing. Sometimes this vehicle, if they can sometimes, and if they will, sometimes they might back up enough to let you make your turn or they might be able to ease over enough out of your way so you can complete your maneuver. All right. But this is not good. You never rely on someone else. To do the job for you. You have to do it for yourself. So what you would do. You would have to plan your work. And work your plan. You never just fall off in a turn. And realize oh I can't make it now. And then now you got to do something. That you don't want to do. All right. It may be unsafe. What you do is plan your work. Your plan starts before you even start turning. So as you approach a turn. You always like I said. Be aware of your surroundings. You need to know what's on this side, what's around you, what's, how, what's over here, and everything. What's above you, below you, and that way you can know what to do in order to make your turn successfully. So approaching the turn, you should survey it. Make sure that you know if someone's here, what's here. Um, if the light is turning green for you to turn, you may need to do a little button hook to create your space as long as it's safe. And make your turn. You may need to, um, you know, take a little space, make sure you turn nice, slow, and safely, and use your mirrors, and then you're on your way. Sometimes you may just simply need to wait. Okay, whatever the case may be, you make the decision because when you're behind the wheel, you are the captain of the ship. And that's what trucking is about continuous decision making trucking is a continuous decision making process but what kind of decisions are we making okay so now you answer that for yourself now different situations calls for different measures right now this is pretty much a clean clear intersection but sometime you in the, the intersection you are approaching or, or coming up to may be very, very crowded. Then you have people going in different directions at different times and you need to decide what you need to do. So you always slow down first. Your approach should be slow. You never rush a turn. You slow down, then turn slow. When you're in a track and trailer and you're going to make a right turn or a left turn, but since we're talking about right turns on this video, use your judgment. Use your vision. Look for the road signs. If it's two turning lanes, you always use the outside turning lane. If you in the inside turning lane, then that limits and shorten your ability to make this turn successfully. All right. You should always turn from the outside turning lane. If you in this truck, you should have been here where this truck is. Because now if you fall in the lines, you're going to turn so short that you will hit whatever's over here or run over curb 
hit a fire hydrant, you're going to do something you do not want to do. So look ahead. Make sure you minimize your end cap distractions. Focus so you can make your turn safely. So remember, two turning lanes. You should be in the outside lane. And then you make your turn. You always have to watch for other vehicles. You make your turn nice, slow, just like this vehicle is turning this way. Make your turn nice and slow. Use your mirrors, be aware of your surroundings, and you're safe and sound. Okay? That's what you need to do. If it is one turning lane and you need to make a little button hook move or something like that, when you come around, make sure you look in your mirror very closely. You want to make sure you leave no space. Or if you left space and someone encroach on your right side, you got you to gotta watch them. You have got to make sure that you make no connection with no one. If you got to wait and let them move out of your way so you can complete your turn safely, then, you know, like I said, you have to make the decision of what you need to do to make this turn safe. Okay, so watch for people encroaching on the right because sometimes people tend to get in a hurry or they may not be paying attention but you had a special training so you got to watch for that stuff another decision you may make uh, decide to make is to pull up straight take the lane that's on a, uh, the traffic that's going that direction and then once you clear you may decide to do that that's all good until someone is in that lane like this now you can't take over the space and you can't necessarily expect for them to back up everybody's not going to be able to back up for you sometimes you may just have to wait or like i said you have to plan your work work your plan so no one can move for you now now what are you going to do you are forced to make an erratic decision where you might have to back up in traffic and the last thing you want to do is to have to back up in traffic because you best believe someone is directly behind you and that's an accident waiting to happen you do not need this so again plan your work work your plan before you get to the intersection you should have already looked and say okay this is what I need to do to make this turn safely and successful and then you plan your work and work your plan so if you just decide I'm going to fall off in this turn and realize, oh, I can't make it, that's a recipe for disaster. But what you should do is, okay, you're approaching the turn. You can see that you don't have too much space. You clear on the side here. You might want to do a little button hook in the intersection here and then create room for the trailer. Then you make your turn successfully and you are on your way. No accident. Let's make these right turns better. Slow it down. Be safe and have a safe trip. 18 WMS.